much guarantee that a child will get a fever. You know that's going to happen. It's inevitable. But suppose a child has a fever and then all of a sudden starts shaking uncontrollably and may even lose consciousness. Oh my gosh, how frightening is this? Most often that is what's known as febrile, did I say it right? Yes. Febrile seizure caused by fevers that are higher than 101 mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. um, they don't, well, I don't want to even say if this is true, but I believe they don't cause lasting damage, yeah. correct? Correct. But they're frightening. They are frightening, yes, So what, for everyone. What does a parent should be aware of when they see that? What, what happens? So a febrile seizure, and there is a difference between a simple and a complex febrile seizure. A okay. simple febrile seizure is a seizure that occurs within a 24-hour period of a fever with no other associate, with, with, with no other complications. They do not cause any long-lasting neurological de deficits at all, and it does not have a poor prognosis, and it does not predispose them to epilepsy, which is important to remember. When you see your child seizing, the first thing to do is to call emergency because a parent is not able to determine whether this is a complex seizure or any type of other more complicated seizure. So the important thing to do is to call 911 and stand by, stand by with them and make sure their airway is protected so that they're not choking. We have a breakdown of what are febrile seizures. So let's take that real quick. And uh, doctor, why don't we go through them one sure. by one? Seizures obviously that are triggered by fever. Yes. Most common in children age six months to five? To five years of age is completely normal to have a febrile seizure. Okay, and why after five, no? After five years of age, you usually don't have um, the low threshold of the thermostat in the brain that would cause the seizures. So after five years of age, we start to investigate reasons why a child would have a seizure. All right, child may not have fever at the time, but may develop cold or flu symptoms later. That Absolutely. can happen? Absolutely, the common um, misconception is that the fever triggers the actual seizure. And that's not true, you can actually even have a seizure before you even get the fever. All right, child may lose consciousness briefly. More of a post-ictal state, they don't actually lose consciousness, but they are just not able to respond to you, and they are not able to respond to their name, but they are awake.